This is video reflection two. I feel that the class exercise we completed in class where we had to find three things in common uh, with four people in the class was uncomfortable for me since I partnered with all males with one having an age difference from my own. It made it difficult to find things in common with them. When I approached the interaction, I first asked everybody, tell me about yourself, in hopes that while they were speaking, I could relate to something they said. Clearly, this was too broad or daunting of a question as they both froze and took a while to think of something to say. Their body language was very closed off and their facial expressions were confused and deep in thought rather than engaged in the conversation. Uh, when I did eventually share an aspect of myself, my group members couldn't relate to it as it was something males typically are not into, so that led to a dip in the conversation and bored looks on their faces. A recent interaction in my life that went well was at work discussing a common interest with one of my coworkers. Since we both had something in common, uh, we went to the same high school. Uh, most of our conversations are around that, which I feel makes it easier to keep the conversation going. Her body language was open towards me. She kept eye contact with me the majority of the time. Um, and the only time not keeping eye contact because she was doing something for the job. Uh, since her body language was open, it made me feel safer speaking to her. Uh, when something funny would be brought up, she would laugh or at least smile, which gave me a cue that she was actually listening to what I was saying. Even when the conversation ended, I felt satisfied in what we had discussed because her body language was not closed off after the conversation. I feel what I feel that once in the conversation, I am very good at keeping it going, but starting the conversation is very difficult for me. With this, with this being my sorority's recruitment week, my job is to start the conversation with PNMs or potential new members to gauge if they are someone who will fit into our organization. I find myself being nervous about switching conversation topics when conversations become dull or dead because I hate the silence that exists in these moments. Coming from a very expressive family, I have to work to get myself heard in most conversations, so I'm not used to the moments of silence like these. I definitely need to work on keeping the conversation from getting dry in moments like this. Another thing I could also work on is keeping my opinions to myself until a cue occurs that I'm good to speak. Again, coming from a loud family, I have to butt in a conversation so that I can say what I want to say. So I feel that in normal interactions, I am always trying to figure out when to say what I want to say. And I sometimes interrupt the person speaking to do so. In order to improve my communication, I need to practice listening before speaking when in conversations so that the person speaking can get out what they need to say. Thank you.